Hi, I'm Bjorn Stolt from Martin Professional. Welcome to this P3 quick tip video on how to use NDI input in P3 PC from version 5.3. So you see I've got a setup from a previous video here to illustrate something creative. So if I want to get NDI input, I of course have to go to video input. In the source drop down menu, I will now have NDI together with all the other sources from the previous versions. And NDI, for those of you who don't know, is a network based video transport protocol. So instead of using a DVI input or a capture card, you can now send video over the network. So in here, I will see my source is pending because I have not enabled any NDI output from any of the media servers in the network. So to do it in Resolume, I will start up my Resolume. I will go to Output and click on Network Streaming and the I to share my composition. Make sure I've got some output going here, which is some of the content from the P3 content pack. Go back to P3, click down on Source. I see my complete chameleon, which is the computer name, arena and composition. Click on that and have the output coming in to P3 here. So if I change my view mode to see it over my fixtures, I will see my NDI signal coming in. If I've got a hippo on the network, which I do here, to get the NDI input on a mix, I will just unlock the view, go in to add another tab, go into my engine, go for mix one, because there will be separate controls for each mix, select NDI, and then drag that onto my canvas and then close it down. So now I've got NDI send. I will enable that for the mix. Pull up my mix output. Go back into P3 here. And then I also have a mix one coming in from the hippo, which it will change over to now. So it's very simple to get the NDI input here. You can also have a peek on the view mode in setup. So you can also see the video input here as a background image. So you can see I can now work with the uh, input coming into the canvas as well in setup mode. So I could actually move fixtures around here, which was introduced in 5.2 in case you missed that. So that is a quick look at NDI input. I'm using it on the same computer, which of course works or you can use it on any computer uh, in the network or media server and just enable the output. P3 will look on all its network cards, so it doesn't matter which network card you send to, if it's on the P3 output card or on the uh, ARPnet or Thermal Throttling network card. So from version 5.3, this will work on P3 PC, but not on the processors due to hardware limitations. So thank you very much for watching this video on how to get NDI input into P3.